Many industrial effluents contain toxic elements that endanger human health if released into the environment without treatment. Effluents from mining activities also contain mercury, a potent neurotoxin that needs removal to meet the universal treatment standards of 150 parts per billion established by EPA. One of the most effective sorbent technologies for selective removal of mercury from effluents to meet the EPA UTS is the Battelle Self-Assembled Monolayers on Mesoporous Supports, or SAMs. The family of SAM sorbents developed by Battelle consists of mesoporous substrates with surface area ranging from 600 to 1200 square meters for every gram of material. Through a chemical process, the pore surfaces of these high surface area materials are bonded, functionalized with ligands or active sites that have high affinity to adsorb and strongly bind toxic elements. For instance, substrate surfaces functionalized with thiol ligand, thiol SAMs, can very selectively bind mercury and the related family of toxic elements such as silver, cadmium, and lead. Tests conducted on Battelle's thiol SAM sorbents prove that within a few minutes this novel sorbent can adsorb selectively almost all mercury in an aqueous or non-aqueous effluent. One of the novel features of thiol SAMs is that this sorbent can adsorb from 35 to 45 percent of its own weight of mercury. The EPA's Toxic Characteristic Leaching Procedure, or TCLP, showed that mercury bound by this sorbent cannot be released into the environment. The Thiol SAMS is currently being manufactured under license in commercial volumes by Steward Environmental Solutions in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Steward Environmental Solutions has a patented mercury treatment system that uses Thiol SAMS sorbent manufactured at their Chattanooga facilities. The SES treatment platform is a flow-through treatment system consisting of a continuously stirred tank reactor, or CSTR, in which thiol SAMS mixes with filtered waste solutions and adsorbs mercury. The treated solution is filtered before discharge. A field demonstration of the SES CSTR technology was conducted at a silver mining site located near Reno, Nevada. In this mine, Crushed rock is heaped on impervious liners and leached with cyanide solution to dissolve silver. This leaching process also dissolves toxic elements in the rocks, including mercury. After silver recovery, mercury and other toxic elements in the spent leach solution need to be removed before releasing into the environment. The mercury concentration in the spent leach solution at this site is typically in the range of 1 to 2 parts per million. For the test, about 4,300 gallons of the spent leach solution was pumped into a 5,000 gallon capacity flex tank. A second flex tank containing 3,500 gallons of solutions was used as a control to monitor any changes in mercury concentration. The SES CSTR unit consisted of three modules equipped with pre- and post-filtration systems. Each tank contained 10 pounds of thiol SAMs with the capacity to treat 10 gallons of spent solution every minute. The test was conducted as a closed loop, meaning the treated solution was pumped back into the source flex tank. The test was run continuously for three days, and mercury concentrations were measured on site in samples removed periodically from source and control flex tanks and after each CSTR treatment stage. During the test, a gradual reduction in mercury concentrations was observed in the source tank. Before treatment, the mercury concentration in the spent solution was 1,100 parts per billion, and after three days of treatment, concentration in the source tank had been reduced to six parts per billion, well below the EPA UTS of 150 parts per billion. Throughout the test, the mercury concentrations after the first, second, and final stage of CSTR treatment averaged 2, 0.7, and 0.4 parts per billion respectively, at or below the drinking water standard for mercury of 2 parts per billion. In three days, the SES CSTR had adsorbed a total of 18 grams of mercury that constituted 99.5% of the total mercury present in the spent solution. The test demonstrated that the thiol SAM sorbent-based SES CSTR technology can very effectively remove mercury to achieve trace levels that approach less than 0.5 parts per billion of residual mercury concentration. 
Additional field tests of longer duration are now taking place to demonstrate this very effective mercury treatment technology at other mining sites.